Yo, what is up guys, it's Greg. Lately, I've been drooling over this box. Just look at it. I tried to buy it, but unfortunately, 30 seconds after it aired on the shop on Cubic Day section, it got sold out completely. This copy isn't mine though, it's my friend Tom's. Thanks bro, I appreciate that. So Tom gave Where's My Hammer to me to play with, and to be honest, I wasn't sure if I want to review it or not. Keep watching and I'll explain why. This box, Where's My Hammer by D. Dixon, is so rich and has so much flavor in its design. This particular copy was made by Eric Fuller. Where's My Hammer is a sequential discovery puzzle box. And that means there is a hidden compartment you need to access in some way, but that's up to you to discover. Part of the fun with these puzzles is the build quality, and this one has it all. I can say for sure that this is a really well-made puzzle box, extremely accurate and satisfying to play with. Then why wasn't I sure if I want to review it or not? Well, that's because I'm not completely sold on the solution. Quick disclaimer, if you didn't solve this puzzle and you don't know the solution, you don't need to stop watching because there will be no spoilers in this video. So keep on watching and you're safe in... Where's my hammer is hard, but for the wrong reason. Some steps in it are very cool, I'll give you that. Well hidden, well executed, challenging and pretty fun. But there's one step that I hated. I hate it so much, I usually don't hate on puzzles, but this step really turned me off. Other than that, sequential discovery was intriguing and perhaps unique. And because of that, this puzzle is best for hunters. It is a beautiful piece of puzzle art and I'd keep it to show it off to people. If that step wasn't there, I'd say that Where's My Hammer is a champion's puzzle because it gives a lot of puzzling value and it's pretty safe to say that it's difficult. But the way it is now, I find that the most value is concentrated around build quality, craftsmanship and collectability. And here's why I wasn't sure if I want to do this review. To be honest with you guys, I'm still not comfortable reviewing uh, puzzles I'm not 100% sold on. Uh, but that's part of the game. So if you do like this kind of reviews too, let me know in the comments and please subscribe to the channel because that helps me out a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching folks and I'll see you guys next time.